Well, Democrats and Republicans voted today on who they want to lead them when the new Congress convenes next year, and they are trying to wrap up this year's business as well. That includes a vote on the Keystone XL pipeline, which has been stalled in Congress for years. Craig Boswell is on Capitol Hill with the details. Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell was all smiles after his Republican colleagues voted him in as the next majority leader. We'd like for the president to recognize the reality that he has the government that he has, not the one that he wishes he had, and work with us. He'll replace Democratic Senator Harry Reid, whose party lost at least eight seats to the GOP. We want to legislate. We're not for stalling. We want to move on to the next Congress with a record of accomplishment. After months of stalemate, the current Congress seems ready to act on the controversial Keystone XL pipeline. The Keystone pipeline from Canada to Texas will bring as much crude oil as we get from Saudi Arabia. The pipeline is back on the agenda partly because there's still a Senate race to be decided in Louisiana, a project bringing lots of jobs. The Senate plans to debate and vote on the bill next week at the urging of Democrat Mary Landrieu, who is fighting to hang on to her seat. My leadership didn't give me permission to do this. Nobody asked me to do it. Landrieu is in a runoff with Republican Congressman Bill Cassidy. And over in the House, the GOP has its own version of the bill. It's been renamed the Cassidy Keystone Solution, and a vote is expected Friday. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And the White House has hinted that President Obama may veto the Keystone bill if it's passed out of Congress. Paula?